Yo, what's up guys? You're back with your man Tech Nick, your go-to guy for videos on the latest tech. Now we have the latest tech here with these three beasts of phones. We have the OnePlus 7 Pro on our left hand side here with 12 gigs of RAM, the highest variant you get with a Snapdragon 855. Then we have the Samsung Galaxy S10 5G over here with the same size screen as the OnePlus. And this is paired with an Exynos 9820 chipset and eight gigs of RAM. Then on the right, we have the ZTE Axon 10 Pro, which also has a Snapdragon 855 chipset in it. And it is paired with just six gigs of RAM, the lower end model. Now all of them have a bit of a camera bump. So we're gonna go ahead and slap all the covers on over there. And just to let you guys no in developer options we do have 12 gigs of ram on the oneplus 7 pro 8 on the s10 and 6 on the accent 10 pro over here now moving into developer options again we have standard limits set on all the processors over here and i've also gone into the settings menu of all these devices and made sure that the battery is not optimizing any of the apps that i'm using over here now focusing on the oneplus 7 pro here they do have a couple things to boost the ram so i've disabled ram boost over here which reads what you are actually doing in your daily activity i was also changed the ram adaptive capabilities over there and I have set the screen to 1080p and 60 hertz to match the other two since the Accent 10 Pro is limited to Full HD Plus. And closing all the apps over there and moving on to the Galaxy S10 5G, I've made sure there's no optimizing apps and no sleeping apps either. I've also turned the adaptive battery off on the S10 and once again I have changed the resolution to 1080p Full HD Plus to match the ZT Accent 10 Pro. I'm gonna go ahead and close all the apps over here as well to make sure that everything's closed. Now taking a look at the ZT Accent 10 Pro, there's not much in settings except for adaptive battery. So I've gone ahead and disabled that as well and closed all the apps as well. Now we're going to start off with camera and we're going to go all the way to VLC and open up all the apps individually and then we're going to go back and allocate points for all of these devices based on their RAM management. Guys these are all absolute beasts when it comes to the RAM department and processing department and without further ado let's go! Okay, so starting over here guys, we're pretty much not allocating points over here since we're just opening these apps up. If you guys want to see the speed of these devices, make sure to check my speed tests on all of these devices and I will have some more speed tests coming up. So at the moment, we're just going ahead and opening up every single app all the way from zero all the way up to 50. And while I have a chance, I just want to tell you guys how much I'm really enjoying the Galaxy S10 5G. It doesn't only have a bigger screen than the S10 Plus and the regular S10, but it also has an extra camera for a top 3D camera so you can then record live video which is really cool so it blows the background so it adjusts to live focus which is really awesome then we also have faster charging at 25 watts as well which is really epic guys I'm really enjoying this phone and it has a bit of a better camera in the front as well since it also uses a bit of a top 3d mechanism in there too now starting up with round two here, we're gonna go all the way back and you'll see that I have 50 points at the bottom of each of these devices. So we're gonna keep them at 50 until the apps start closing and whoever has the most amount of points at the end of the test obviously wins. So all of the phones are opening them up perfectly fine over here and they aren't closing any apps in the second row from the bottom over here yet guys. So we're gonna go onto Antutu Bench over here and you guys will see that they all had to reopen so now they're all on 49 points. Now we're gonna go back and keep going with PUBG Mobile and surprisingly enough all of the devices have kept it open. So I'm assuming that these devices will keep a lot open in the background but there the ZTI Accent 10 Pro closed Fruit Ninja over there so it lost a point there. Now it also closed Flick Kick Soccer over there so it lost a point there too but it managed to keep open Flappy Bird and it decided to close connection over here so it lost another point there. The S10 5G and the 7 Pro are tied at the moment and all of them are opening up that next app over there though the ZTX and 10 Pro just had to reconnect to the Play Store. Now it also killed Tap Tap Dash so now it is five points behind the other two. Now moving on to Sonic Boom over here you'll see that the S10 5G lost a point over there since it had to reopen it and the 12 gigs of RAM on 7 Pro have kept it up and running. But surprisingly enough the next app which was Color which was kept open on the two and Helix Jump was closed on the S10 5G, dropping it at another point over there. Now the S10 5G is now six points ahead or seven points ahead of the ZTI Accent 10 Pro, but it is just three points behind the 7 Pro. So Temple Run 2, the 7 Pro kept it open, the other two closed it. And then Temple Run 1, strangely enough, all of the devices closed it, I guess because it's an old game. Now going into Ninja Asari over here, we have all of them closed over there, all losing a point. So the 7 Pro is now losing more points over there. And opening up up Angry Birds Rio they've all had to reopen them too which is quite surprising since there is 12 gigs of RAM over there and the OnePlus 7 Pro has already closed five apps especially with the next Angry Birds as well it had to reopen once again there guys now moving on to our next game over here which is going to be flip diving they all had to 
reopen once again and if you notice that 50 on the right hand side is slower 50 because that is the total apps that we have open so that you guys can compare the total apps to the scores that we have at the bottom of each device. So now moving on to Google Chrome over there you can see that all the devices well the 7 Pro and the 5G didn't have to reopen them and then with Adobe Clip none of them had to reopen them it's still saved where we left off as well as Netflix it just had to reload the page but it was still open there was no logo loading screen in the beginning over there but that is not the same for Twitter and then moving on to Instagram over there they all had to reopen them once again so five points ahead on the 7 Pro so far as opposed to the S10 5G between four gigs of RAM of the two and just two gigs of RAM bump up from the 7 from the Axon 10 Pro and the S10 5G, that is a bit of a bigger difference over here. So if you ask me, it seems like the jump between six and eight gigs is much more superior to the jump from eight to 12, since things aren't too different over there. Now, going into the last bit, which is the system apps over here, a lot of them had to reopen, guys. Practically every single system app had to reopen under the sun right until the end of the test over here. And gallery also had to reopen since we opened a picture in the beginning and that was closed. Now the camera faced forward on the two on the right because it's has that setting enabled but looking at the results over here guys you can clearly see 29 points on the 7 Pro with 12 gigs of RAM 24 points on the S10 5G with 24 points and 16 points with the Axon 10 Pro with its 6 gigs of RAM so there's only a five point difference between the two on the left and an eight point difference with the two on the right. So if you guys are looking for a sweet spot, I think eight gigs of RAM is the one to go for. I hope that you guys enjoyed this test as much as I did making it. And until next time guys, this is Technic.